He's playing the Jakiro. TA and Visage are the top rank. Okay. Interesting. Um, keen to see what happens. I think Jakiro should be support. Again, Visage saved. No, but TA could still save. It's pretty open. I'd lean towards NFT's draft just because it's pretty well protected. But we'll see as we do go into the game now. Again, NFTs versus PCB game one, AD, ATDL, Revival 2021 plus one finals. We'll get into it. I think you're overall, you're pretty happy with the TA here. The Quap camp overextend, can't really look for the kill unless stunts are up. Small camps weren't blocked. And that's where the TA definitely wins out. Doesn't cost your mana to clear out as we do miss first blood down bot. Our tide does get run down, minus armor and the scatter blast ready to go on forged. And as we said, just don't have a good lane to hide with no manas. They're going to be chasing nightly now. All out of mana as well does have two mangoes. Trying to run around. Does pop one mango. Gets the stun off onto Forge. Trying to scurry around. Another mango with the acorn. Does find the kill on Forge. But our AM, looking for the blink, does manage to find the kill. So, two kills out for AM early on. AM safe. has been great for NFTs. They are clumping top, rotation out once more from Nick. Shackles doesn't land, but oof, starting to drop really low. Soul Assumption is ready. Does drop, but not enough. Gonna need to charge back up. No level 6 in Sujuan, so it's his body 4, but Nick oversteps. Gets punished, did not manage to blink out in time. And now, Shackle does not connect onto 2. Night Song dropping very low to Soul Assumption again. Landing onto Night Song. Does have the charge, doesn't opt to use it. To the opposite lane, so drops. And now Chi is in danger. Dual Vret does latch, but... Has managed to bail out in time. He is number one in that word by about 100 gold as we do see movement top. Shackle does connect, not quite. Oof dropping low, a good stun from her hoodwink. And they still keep Oof alive. How is the Sonic Wave? Okay, it has connected. She is starting to drop low for that dive in. Not gonna die yet. As Nick can be chased down a bit. Still no Ravage. He managed to clean up Chia on the side. Nick, Blink is up. Does still get stunned by the Hoodwink. Another Anchor Smash will clean up. And Sujuan, feeling great. Tree for one trade. And you're finding everything you need on PCB. Not quite in position to really defend. They've got the two supports down already. Kiss is still ready to go. Top tier one does fall in exchange. TP's coming through. Nick has the Sanj, so it's a lot harder to pin him down. See if they find the angle. PCB starting to back off a bit. Blue might be the first target to go. No, they get a good cookie out onto Desire. Shackle as well. Kiss is coming out. They're melting Desire. No Ravage to save. They still manage to find a Wind Ranger in exchange, but already a big pickoff for the side of the NFTs as they're looking for more. PCB's trying to TP out. Nice breakout. Ice pap onto two, onto three. And Sujuan held in the middle. Anchor smashing to do as much as he can. Nightly gets the bushwhack off. Will try to TP. Manavoid still ready for the cancel. Does not find it in time. So three for one. A great trade for NFTs. PCB backing off pretty early there. So you can freely path. Look for whatever he wants. Looks like Roche might be playing. Oh, just scouting around. Looking for an angle. Not too much time left. They spot the AM. Can they get the hold? Did they have a sentry in range? Looks like they managed to spot out the visage. Did he break? Charge out. Nice yield to break from Knight Lido. Can they find fall through onto Snine Song? No. AM jumps in. Manavoid immediately onto Blue, but the Ravage is out. Onto Tree. Onto Forest. They managed to lock in our AM. Can he escape? Does manage to blink out in time. Sonic Wave onto two. As they start to melt Sush one. Kisses flying out. Can July make it out? Desire trying to clean up, getting the side blades off, whacking away, but it's not enough. AM though, coming in, starts to drop low, shackles onto the tree. Desire starting to get really, really slow here, does not have the mana for refraction, still goes for the hits. Chia does fall, but they managed to kill off Desire. As July falls, AM does live to see another day, nightly the last to fall here. They clean up, PCB again, not trading the way they'd want to. Looked like a great Ravage. They didn't have to follow through damage. They've got to coordinate. They need like good macro pyre on top of the Ravage to look like the perfect choke point to get that done. And NFTs punish. Do snipe Blue's Courier. So, Yule's build up for Jakira can be held off just a bit. As July joins into the Roche. Now, this is where this lineup shines. They've got a lot of damage output. With the Visage and the TA and the Minus Armor from Tide, Roche will just fall. Pinks are coming out here from NFTs. They don't want to give this away for free. They will smoke up again. Can they rush in time? Power Shot will spot the Roche, but it's a bit too late. Kiss is coming out to at least maybe find some punishment. Shackles out, full onto the Jakiro. Focus Fire out. Ravage, though. Onto two. Not the biggest. Onto three, but 
Fops too far off. They will kill off Night Song. Sonic Wave to zone them out. Not enough to really clip anyone. Ice Pat misses. As our AM just blinks forward, does kill off Nightly, who was too forward. That's a one for one so far. Desire does have the Aegis, does not want to lose it this way as Chia keeps the chase up. Dust already out. Side blades out. Chia does melt, but they take the Aegis out with a jump in. Great cookie out from Forge. Buybacks onto the two supports. July starting melt from damage coming out from the AM. He does get twacked by the three. Bushwhack getting the work done. Blinks away, but it's not enough. Blink out from Desire. Finds him like a streetcar as Forge. Cookie forward onto the death. That awaited him. And they turn it around on the side of PCB. Night Song hanging around. His ag's two parts away. Shadow Blade up. At the backside. Could look for a good flank. TP's coming in to defend that top tier one. Nick does have him. The charge run back with his with a shadow blade. Blink into the ice path though. And the ravage immediately following through. Nice drop and low. Does get taken out. Chia as well in the back line. Damage coming through from July is huge. As they find three for nothing. Aim illusions are there, but it's not gonna be enough. No defense really coming true from NFPs, not plumping around this area, so it looks like they will surrender, but TP's coming out from the AM. M looking to Blink Fragment forward, trying to scout out Blink Fragment again, Blinks forward. They kill off Blue, just melts that output. Shackle onto two, Chia finds a good lineup. Sichuan does burst out. July has Soul Assumption ready, doesn't find a good target, pops drums for the retreat. But the chase is going. Or oh, AM's found the TA, big kill coming through as they also find a Visage. So they take the tier 2, they overstay. And it's just that consistent issue for PCB. They don't have Ravage, they can't fight. More durability. Good, slow is coming out. Shard already up. Silence from the big smoke out. Immediate charge onto Nightly. They want to kill off that Hoodwink. Nether strike out. Cookie forward. The chain stunts are just perfect. Blue. Ice Path looked like it could save, but wasn't enough. He's gonna be held back as you find more up top. So you already dropping low blink fragments, just draining him of all the mana. Has Ravage ready, but can't really he will pop it, but there's no follow-through. Can he get the chain stunts out for the familiar stunts? Yes, they will. Kiss is coming out to kind of zone them out. Night Song starting to drop low. Desire jumps in. One more side blade does the job. So one for two so far as her tide does live out. The side of PCB is starting to drop that lead. They are scouting around well with July, but there are lots of sentries here from NFPs. So you know the Visage there somewhere, nice dust out, they do manage to catch up Forge, they get the kill. Blink Silence out, Scream of Pain will hold them back, no Ravage again for hold. How can they find anyone? Blink forward, BKB popped here by July, trying to stand forward, but he's just not living through enough. The damage output, just from the right clicks, is enough as her Visage falls. The pile of paper, they're trying to get the chase off onto the M, Silence out from Desire with a Trap Shard. Only still alive, Side Blades? Not enough. Trying to dodge here, good reflect and <laughs> reflects and ags upgraded. My gosh, does mention blink out in time. Good shackles out onto desire to stop anymore. Chia will sacrifice his life for this, but all's well ends well as your AM does manage to escape. AM barely dodges them out. Is under vision. They see him farming. There are sentries, they know July's here. Blink fragments to save. Shackle out onto the two familiars, but they can still drop down as Ice Pat's there onto two. The Gale Force does hold them back from the high ground. AM now looking to re-engage onto the back line. The fragments are doing a lot of work. Charge out from Night Song onto Desire. BKB out. Nice. Ice Pat does anyone. Nightly does live true somehow. Is going to be focused down now. Focus fire out. No control. July still standing in the middle. Charge on the back line. Trying to take care of that T8. Aegis is down as the fight still breaks out on the right side. Kiss is flying through. Melting Sushuan does not have the Guardian Greaves in. A little poke will do it. Forge will find a kill in the end. So keep chase. Charge out onto Nightly in that. Hoodwink's not going to have much more to play. But it's Nyx here to help clean up as well. Meanwhile on the backside. Trying to find more. Desire with the BKB. Melting down Chia. AM silenced up. Matt is going to be up and running though. Guy is going to be able to get away. Mana Bird come through onto Jala. BKB forced to be popped. But our Visage is gone. Charge out onto Desire. No BKB. Cookie stun as well. Can she? Can he hold on? Trying to kill off Forge at the least. Still gets stunned. Man avoided. Even the Sonic Wave coming out from Nick. Takes care of the TA. Four for one trade coming out for the NFTs. This tower.
AM taking point has the Aegis for a long time. BKB in the backpack. Blink fragments forward to get some scouting going. Another blink fragment out. Go separate mutually out. The Rax will fall with no defense coming through. Yule's out. Ice Pat forward. BKB still in the backpack. They're going to get the Ravage off. They want to kill this AM off, but they only have one piece of control. Ra they do manage to kill off the AM. Damage out from Desire. Melting through Nick. Can they find more? BKB starting to fade. No BKB used from the AM. Held back, but Desire is playing it safe. Meg creeps up and running. It's not even my <coughs> Good. Bushwhack out onto the AM. Does manage to blink out. Charge for it from Night Song. Does run into Desire. And they lose the Chikiri. Immediate buyback. Desire. Just the damage output. Melting them, but Nick does manage to get out. Good hex onto Desire to cut off that aggression. Buyback from the Wind Ranger. Try to make things right as they hold the high ground now on NFTs. Keep holding back, but NFTs want the end. Charge forward from Night Song is gonna find Desire. Is there follow through? They do manage to get the Blink Fragments working onto Desire. Ice Pat to hold back. Bushwhack out as well. Damage out from Desire. Doing a lot of work. Does manage to rip through the Spirit Bear. Can they find more? AM just working onto Sujuan. Buyback's ready. Ravage still a long ways off. That's all they get. Spirit Breaker down. Enough to force him back. They do get the Visage. No buyback in July. And this could be a dieback on Blue if he's not careful. Shackle out onto Nightly. Cookie stun as well. You can't come close to that TA. Tier 4 does fall. So they are trying to chase down here. It's another good Shackle. It's out to hold back the Hoodwing. Mana Void, Desire falls, buyback's ready, Divine, has it been picked up, it's still on the ground, Desire gets to pick it up again, with the buyback in, stun out, can't get the damage, they got to find something, the shot comes in from the Hoodwing, crippling down Forge, they managed to get the kill, no dodges out to the Invis, they managed to get the kill, but their tier 4s are down, and this is the title of the game now, Defense of the Ancients. As he is ready to just immediately buy out. Get the Yules off onto Chia. He did buy back earlier on. Bushwhack's been doing a lot and just two hits out from Desire. Gets the job done. Charge though. They want to jump onto Desire. They manage to get the stun. Nether Strike as well. Can they rip through Desire's refraction charges? Nah. Too much. And Ravage is out. They keep Nick down. Can they find a kill BKB to save? Does blink forward. Charge back in. Night Song once more. Server lag's being called. The Ancient's exposed. Someone's got to go defend, but they're forced to fight. The Tsar can't get away. Bashed up. Ancient's gonna fall. July gonna do what he can. They do manage to find Night Song. There goes Sujuan, though. As our TA is still in the middle of all of this hex out. Does have refraction. They're ready to go in eight seconds. They find a kill on the AM. No buyback on him. Ancient still stands with July doing work. Can PCBs get something out of this? So no follow through from the tier 2, but they will find that snap. Good yields out, good stuns out from Visage. Damage coming true. They will manage to melt Forge. Tier 2 falls. Next creep wave coming out. Go through the tier 3s fast. Still 20 seconds until AM's back up, and they're going for the end game. What they want the tier 4s, they know they've got to make this end now. Ice Pad, not gonna connect. Tier 4 is just melting to the output. E Blade up on Nick. Can he get the disarms they need? Fortify out to hold him back. And might be enough to force them away. Shackles does not connect. Charge out. Night Song going through the angle. Onto the T80. Managed to find the right target. But no follow throughs. They are going to lock down Nightly instead. Get the kill. Ice Path does lock in the AM. Can they get the damage? It's flying out. Desire is hitting pretty hard, but the bashes are coming through. Desire, you don't have buyback. Does fall. And that's the Divine on the deck. Divine out onto the AM. That could be the end game now. As PCB overstayed their welcome, they did not have Ravage to play with, but stuns from July are stalling. July doing what he can, but there's only so much one man can do. Can they go for the kill? GG is called. PCB does tap out in the NFTs. Get game one. Not in the easiest fashion, mind you. That was a lot of back and forth here between our two teams. NFTs had to work extra hard. PCB made out a very close game. And this time around, I think PCB has come out with a stronger draft, but that's not discounting what NFT can do here. I think maybe by level 3 you feel a lot better. See Earth Spikes there again. No static link yet. It will come out now. Shackles is there onto 2. Good angle from Chia. Clumping up a bit too much on our PCB. Has blue over stasis. Welcome. Ogre Magic Link sacrificial. They don't manage to break the solve. In fact, I think it's running forward. Gets charged off. Does get the stun off from the Ogre. 
Looking to really turn. They pop the rage early, but that's enough to find Sichuan. No lucky bashes again. As the bloodlust is there, and they should be able to run down nightly. Two kills coming out for this top lane. Two kills for an ogre magi. So NFTs. Not quite finding that early momentum they'd want. Still haven't seen the Exo yet, but they get the TP down. We'll use the Exo now. Good double stun, but the Shackle does connect onto Blue, and that should be the kill. We can start to ensure. Night Song will get it. July, Sushuan, and that is strike immediately out onto Night Song. He does not have the Ghost Shroud to protect Night Song. Still alive. Bash out! Stun out from Desire. Coming in from backside onto two. Nick is dropping low. Will fall for this kill. Power shot misses from Chia. Now Chi is in trouble. Does get silenced up with the Phantom's Embrace. Inkswell onto the Creep Wave does get blocked off from patting in the tree line, and Chia should be able to run. Two for two. See if they commit here on the side of PCB. They see the DP. You have Chi around with Shackles. Does get a good one. Double Shackles out. Can they follow through? Silence out. Damage coming out. Not enough to melt nightly. And now the soul bind charge with the soul bind up. Charge once. The double finger. There's the kill for blue. Another strike held back. But the stuns from Forge and TP in. They want to kill off that Grim Shark and they will, but the, but the inks that static blink is already up on Lifesteal. He's in trouble. He gets stunned up. He's dead. As I will find more in the middle. The Zyre is just not dying. Night Song already used that Reaper Sight. And now it's just gonna be run through, stun out onto Lions. Great, good shackles again, but the loser mid tier one. The charge is still gonna come out. She is out of mana to get anything done. It's another kill out for Desire. Triple kill out for Lesh. A full team wipe out onto NFTs. It did cost a couple of buybacks there on PCB. Ults are on cooldown. No finger, no another strike yet. No soul bind. But they find one charge out onto Forge or poor Port Age Kiro. Gonna melt. Shackle out onto the Razor. July needs to use that stack of Link, but the Rage is already up on Moonly, and July is going to be falling very slowly. So they overextend. They don't find the angle, and a good set of engages out from NFP. Getting the control they need first, finding the angle with a life sphere. Do get some punishment back. They are going to clump up. Smoke out. They leave July out. That was maybe caught out by the war. That might have spotted. They will charge down the AM. Oh, the life sealer is. They will get the angle. Rage not going to be pop. Immediate nether strike. Can they hope for the lucky bash? No, Forge to get some bash first. But there's the split earth out. But the instant TPs from everyone. They want to find something. Soul bind on to do the silence out. But the infest there to save. To so get the stun out on the ogre. Nice double stun out from her line. Can they keep down that life sealer? Shackle does not connect. He has to run. He's not going to get anywhere. As a streetcar named July. Everyone else kind of focusing on trying to take that mid trade. Zara's, yeah, they're going to leave July to get that work done. No, they actually leave for the defense down bot. They want to stop that mid tier one from falling. Soulbind does still connect onto the life sealer, but he does infest in time. They will want to find the ogre, force the life sealer out, and they will. One kill already. Shackle does not connect here from Chia. Zara is still running forward. The damage coming through, it's too much. They melt. Desire. Not going to get that opening. Charge out from Sushuan again. Who's he gunning for? He's gunning for Night Song. Shadow Blade up. Can he get the follow-up stuns? Desire backs off. He gets silenced up as well, so they're not going to have the control. Shackle out onto the Razor. July held back. He needs to get that static link off. And there's the... Oh, double finger out. The damage output. It's just insane. A soul bind again. They're going to be able to chase that in their Shackle out onto two. Great shackles from Chia this fight, but it's not... Two cores once more. Life Sealer comes in, no threat of that static link no longer. Grimstruck does fall. Can they find more? That was a buyback on Necrophos. Looks like they'll have to settle for Sichuan. They decide to make sure. So a two for two trade, but with a dieback on Necrophos, that does feel a lot better for PCB. Smoke out. Not spotted, but the scan. Spots that smoke. Good high ground hold here from Blue. Breaks the smoke. Earth Spike onto multiple. Immediate rage out from Life Sealer. So no Earth Spike stuns. The line will just fall. No, he's alive. No finger out, but they will get the control. Nice movement forward. Desire just so brave getting the damage off. They find more. They get the Yules out onto the Ogre Magic Split Earth as well. And they find a kill. Nether Strike out onto Nick. Bash to heck as he's down. And now Life Sealer forced to run away. Forced to TP out. Nullifier not doing enough. 
And now onto that push in mid. Shackle does not connect. They do manage to get the nullifier off onto Desire, but he's still alive. He's so tanky. He's hard to melt as they jump forward. Nice earth spike onto one. Finger out onto two, but that was a BKB. So they don't really rip through. They find one. Only the Ogre Magic. They're starting to fall low here. July is still sapping away so much damage. Doing 400 for a hit. No damage on the Life Stealer at all. Sushuan so might fall, and he does. Desire is still protected by the Ages. We'll lose the first life. Shackle's used early. Earth spike onto the Ogre. Buyback forced out. Can they pin down Desire? Yule's out to save himself. Silence does not connect. Desire does get chain stunned by the Ogre, but is still fine as the Nullifier does work with Chia. So in that sense, you are getting some feedback. They find two, and the buyback from Forge does work. Desire makes it out in time. July still has the smoke up. Refresh in about half a minute, 20 seconds left. So you will have that static blink ready to go as they will force the fight in the same spot. Instant stuns out onto Desire. He does not have anything defensive besides the yield shackled up. They might find that first kill and they will! A godlike massive kill coming away of Night Song with a Reaper's Sight. July still standing forward. Refresh almost up but he's all by himself. Does not have his BKB up, but he will have a refresh. Are you going to force a fight? Yes, they will. Refresh up. Static link out onto the life stealer, but he is running away. They only find a Wind Ranger for now. Can they find more? They've got to make up for this. Night Song dropping low. Let's get taken out. But Nullfire is out onto July. He's dropping low. He, his BKB is gone. Three for three. Big win for NFTs and finding that Leshrac. And PCB again just running forward. <laughs> the Silence does miss on our line. They want to turn. Nightly, brave about this, is in massive trouble now with the life stealer coming true. And blue will blink away. So a four for three, forcing the issue there. Smoke out from PCB. Who will they find? Soulbind ready, static link ready. Blue sees the target in Nick. Immediate earth spike out with the charge fall. Finger, he's so tanky, he's not gonna melt. Gale Force to hold him back now as well. As her backline is being ripped apart by this life stealer, still the BKB out in Night Song looking for target to Reaper Sight down. No detection to spot out Sujuan as he charges forward onto Forge. They want to kill off the Ogre Magic to force the life stealer out, but Sujuan gets shackled and dies. Night Song still drops low to July, and Nick standing in the middle cops all the hits from July. He will stun out. Nullifier out onto July. Is it enough? No, it's not. No focus fire from Chia to keep slowing down July. The damage is looking good. Lincoln's broken, Earth Spark to follow. Can they kill off this life dealer? Shackles out in Zari. Yes, they can. Not enough throughput from NFTs to stop that as the tier two will fall and the high ground opens up. Yeah, nah, they play it safe. Oh, Lincoln's broken on our life dealer. Charge still goes through. The other strike out. The stunts are coming through on Sushuan. He is kept down, he's just dead. We get the soul bind, but we need to infest. They're, they're, they're not connected. Smoke pop by Nightly. He does get kept down with the nullifier as well. So two for nothing coming out from NFTs, and that will open up Roche for them. Life Sealer up once more. Still 20 seconds on that Aegis, and that tower just melts. No creep wave though. Back doors there, but they will be able to pierce through eventually. Life Sealer, silence will hold back. Charge though. Smoke out, but charge will still land. Shackle out onto Sujuan. Can he get out of there in time? Looks like he can as July's up front with a static link onto one. And now, can they get the life seal out? Aegis does expire. This would be perfect moment to get their stuns off. They managed to connect onto the DP, but she's still alive for now. Oh, the stun! No! Life seal! Glimmer Cape saves, but he does attack and he does break and dies. As the punishment comes out from PCV, looking for the last one, finger out onto Necropos. Lion dies under the aura, but they make it work. NFTs over committing for the high ground. Great charge out from Sujuan. Buybacks forced out to stop this push. But you can't stop a Lesh. Not with just the DP and life and uh, Ogre Magi, which hero. Mid does fall. Rack's not gonna take too long here. And they can try for the Megas on the side of PCB. Another long haul game coming out. Looks like PCB will be able to draw out the series one to one. Will gun for another set of racks. Silence is out. There is the cyclone coming through from that Stormcrafter. And again, into that Diabolic Edict, into the push. And the racks not going to take too long afterwards. 
You have Sujuan back up, charging down onto Forge. Gale Force to hold him back. Shackle does connect. Chia with a big Shackle onto Desire, but he has so much armor, he's not dying. No damage on that Wind Ranger, and they just die. Meta Strike onto Forge. We'll be able to Glimmer Cape to safety. Yule's out to hold back July, but that top Rax is gone. Already gonna swing down for bot. They are tempted. Pinks are out for the defense. Response are coming true. And the side of PCB should play it safe here. And you do no, he goes for the hex instead. So no, just direct control on the life stealer if the lion can't make it in. Or unto anyone really. Life stealer walks up, finds the desire, gets a no fire off. The low cyclone break does save and BKB immediately to stop, but he's dropping way too low and he does die. And Strike was just a bit too slow. Can they run out? Infest out onto the ancient creep. They immediately lose their Ogre Magi, no buyback on him. Bash out into Night Strong through the BKB, trying to hold back the SK. He will fall, Reaper Sight does kill off on the side, keeping pinned July. He will fall, they overextend, PCB. They get wiped, only Sujuan able to run away in time. Chia will run out in time, they will get the D-Wards. Shackle connects onto the tree. Desire again caught off, but they manage to force that from forward. BKB is popped in time. Gale Force not going to hold him back. Meta Strike through to be through the spell means to coming through. It's a chaotic team fight. The soul bind lands onto two. July still has to refresh if need be, but it looks like he's holding on. Does get it off. Who will he go for? Slows her out onto the life shield. He is looking to turn. Wants to go onto onto that razor. It's damage coming through. The right clicks. It's enough. July. He's dead. Along with Sujuan, buyback forced out onto the Razors as they lose their line and now Desire in the middle of fall with gets pinned. They do not want to give that Aegis away but they lose their Grimstroke buybacks from everyone coming out. NFTs, are they going to look to force? Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. They don't have BKB up. Sujuan will charge in. Massive charge onto Tree but still doesn't have BKB. Sujuan! He's dead! He dies back! And potentially just end the game. I don't think there's any playing around here. No need for the Mega Creeps, no need for any additional tier 2. Static Link does come online, but July immediately stops. 16 damage. Besides, you're, you're stealing damage from a guy with Divine. Uh, he, he has 350. You're not going to steal that amount out from Life's Lair. Finger, Earth Spike does not connect. Finger does, at least Shackles does not connect. Tier 3 falls, charge out from Shrugan onto backline, but no fire immediately out onto July, and he just can't stand. Static Link is ready, immediate refresh, but he hasn't used Static Link the first time. Wants to be KD, but immediate gets stunned, he's dead, no buyback on the Razor, no buyback in the lane, no one has buyback. As the side of NFTs find the big kills and they're gonna go to those tier 4s, they want Desire, all the Yules in the world to hold him in the air. Desire is not gonna be enough. Reaper's Sight secures the kill as our life healer has the right idea onto the tier fours gives the smiley face and the gg is called pcb they had a great start it just got it just got kind of disconnected at the end there didn't it minted to the blockchain says nf forge <laughs> a two game lead in this best of five what do you think's the emphasis going forward here? Like, uh, who has to get maybe a better grasp on that early game with this kind of lineup? Yeah, I think I think the top lane for I'm sorry, no, the bot lane for both sides are going to be very important. You're running a viper into into gyro. It's a very uh, spicy lane, I would say, just because viper has kill potential on the gyro. Gyro has kill potential on the viper. Whoever dies first cannot lane. So that's something that we need to take a look at. Yeah, we are seeing Forged already eating through all his mangoes. He's dead to see on this rough. He will get charged off. That's into the tower with a good block out with a static field. And they should be able to punish this one. Does get a good bash off onto Arter. Do snipe the courier of Arter though, but that's gonna be first blood for Arter. No! Forged! He takes it for the hit. So gold bonus goes the way. Of our disruptor is down, bot. They even managed to find that kill onto July. They will lose knights on exchange, and Forge will fall up top. But the back and forth's already out there. Missing top.
you down. My spot. Radiant wants their middle tower to fall? Radiant structures are fortified. Final game is what's a charge forward. They do manage to catch out Nick. Already can find that kill. That DK is down. You see, he managed to find some punch when she can be held back. They do get a good glimpse, but not enough to hold back. Desire wants that kill. Does get good. Sounds out. Arters in with the damage. Can he kill them off? They have no hold for the Ember any longer. There is a remnant back as that man should dodge out, but the Viper Strike still lands. And here comes Chia. Avalanche. Toss is there. Desire. Is he gonna fall? Yes, he will. Three for four, three for three. As Arthur falls as well, they will find the disruptor. So a four for three trade coming out here. Windows. So we'll go in. Apologies again for how scuffed this is. As they get the jump in. And we get into the steam call. Jong. Jong, you there? Jong. All right, connecting in as they get the jump in. Chia does fall. Can they find more? The DK is gonna fall next. Can be the one calling that you have to have someone else because um the window's not on my. Um, All right, fair, fair. It's not on my. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right, as we do jump in. No, we're not. Uh, static storm. Call back though onto the. Oh no, I dodged out. All right, no static storm from Forge. 18 to 9. Right out of nowhere, so no clue. A dire side smoking, empty yep. smoking here. 
going looking for the angle. They've got the infest up on Nick. He does have the blink up, but are they gonna go rush instead? No. They don't have vision and the side of PCB smoke up as well. So we're gonna look to see if they can circle around and find a good spot. On the high ground here for the side of NFTs. As they wrap, scan does fall flat into the triangle. PCB goes, but they had wards here. I don't know why you go into there when no one's around, not catching anyone. So who's gonna catch who? Smoke fades on NFT. They are not under vision yet, but they do walk into vision. Nick, very vulnerable here. They still have the high ground on PCB. Not gonna jump yet. Dire sentries will spot the dire wards will spot them. Blink forward, infest bomb out. They want to kill the ogre off. Charge up into one. Does charge into two. Nick starts to drop low. BKBs pop. Three heroes caught in the back line. They immediately melt the sports. Viper to follow. They will find Sujuan. A 3 for 2 start. Like Nick's not dealing with it. And he's Cliff. How did he get up there? Arto. He got bashed up. It's he's stuck. Arto. It's Arto. Oh Arto. boy. He's got the Shadow Blade. He can stall for a oh. while. No detection up, but I don't see a run. Oh, he goes for the Orchid play. He's going to kill off the puck. Can he survive? No. Yes. No visual. Auto side fist. Chains. Wait, wait, he's fighting Archer. Oh, he's dead. What the hell was that? 23 to 22. Back uh, and forth. Oh, Arthur. Arthur going Arthur. Oh, no. Yeah. If they want to, but once again, that's not the ideal thing. Take that Roshan, take that Aegis, have that extra life on your gyrocopters. And that's probably going to help you open up the map more. Yep. Not going to take long for that Roshan to fall, but the damage output put on July and that Bloodlust running. The side of NFTs don't seem aware that Roshan's happened. The a bit too far from Roshan. So that first Aegis will go the way of PCB. As you said, two lives up on July is going to be massive. DD does go the way of NFTs though. So a lot more damage on Arteris. They will go for the smoke. They've got the Satanic you were talking about here. Creston, they're going to look for the angle. They jump right in. They find a jar. Can they take the first life without any yeah. counter fight? Immediately burst it down. Static Storm on top. No kinetic field. Will they go for more? No, they're satisfied. They got the Aegis, they back off. Dream Coil though Coil. does catch them. In the back, two heroes caught down. Stun out into the DK. July running up for the BKB. Can he do the damage? He's being ripped apart. The DK, the DD is still running. Archer melts him. Glimpse back onto the buck. Does manage to dodge with the orb. But no, he doesn't jump out. Nightly stays. Gets ripped to shreds with the Orchid. And NFTs, they drop Roshan, but they still stay in the game. They take out... July with a well-timed B DD there on Arthur. Uh, DD and the Satanic as well, so it's that one dueling item as I was saying. You need that dueling item just to beat the gyro. Of course, gyro is more of a magic, a mixed damage carry. You have right clicks, but you also have your magic. Um, you have your magic spells. It doesn't work again. Life, life stealer. You're homing. Uh, you're homing rocket won't hit. Rocket Barrage won't hit. All down sure it might go through BKB the slow, but that's just uh, as far as it gets. And now, you know, losing at Aegis, losing the tempo, and if he's getting, might get this round. Yeah, they're forcing the fights. Toss back onto the Spirit Break, bring him back. Nice infest onto Night Song to keep him alive there on the life steal as they jump forward. They get the chainsaw onto the DK. Can they find more? Jarrah Copper in the middle again. Silent stop. Static Storm on top. They get the kill. Desire running away with his BKB. Are they going to lose more? Buybacks forced out in the Spirit Breaker. Charging forward. Pins down Night Song. Gets the Nether Strike off. But here comes Harder with the hits. It's getting pretty fat, Jong. They keep the chase up. Trying to get Chia. They will find one. Tree for tree with buybacks coming through. Racks are protected, but Night Song is still forcing the issues to charge for it from Sujuan. The creeps are back up. Arthur, who gets the silence onto the Ember, gets the kill. The Puck still focusing onto Night Song, but Night Song's still alive. He's not dying anytime soon. He's so durable. As that should be the Rax. Arthur standing ground. They even find the dieback on the Spirit Breaker. And NFTs, after losing Roche, bounce back into the game. They find everything they want. They might lose Night Song, but the damage output of Knightly as a support just isn't there. He needs that Dream Coil. Another tier 3 falls. Range Rax to go. Respawn's coming up soon for NFTs. They don't have a TP point. But they will have their team at least ready to go, ready to roll out and back them up. Two racks! John, did you expect that? But July here with the dive back, with, with the Aegis not being used to get more towers, he doesn't have his satanic yet, so in terms of survivability, just a few hits from the life stealer, it is, it's gonna hurt and he doesn't have a way to sustain that back. Yeah, it's just not there. He will charge forward Sujuan. 
Looking for the angle. Static. Kinetic field does hold back. Nether Strike does not come out. And Sujuwon's dead. Makes a desperate play to try to buy some space out for team, but no one was backing them up. Does get punished. One set. Mega creeps up. Just in the flash like that as NFTs will smoke in here. Broke smoke broken on Night Song. He has the axe up. They July. jump for it. Immediate control onto July. He gets BKB off, trying to turn around, but he doesn't have the sustain. July dead with no buyback. The rest of the team left to try to clear up. Desire playing with the axe does get caught in Static Storm. His BKB fades. He's held behind. He's getting stunned and he's gone. The cores are all dead as Chia dives a bit too deep into the fountain. As only blue is left to try and help Nightly staying back in the fountain and now the tier fours fall. NFTs! It's looking like a trio here, Jong. You made it in time to see one last game. Axe up and the GG's called. PCB tried their best. NFTs, man. Apparently they're too spicy.